It's beer o'clock on me, Love Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Eight Wired Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Cosmic Chaos Sour Black IPA coming in at 7.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Look at that smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Looks tremendous, two fingers slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation, it is more or less a jet black beer in a glass apart from that little bit of red, ruby red light bleeding through the bottom of the glass there, can you see it? Good levels of carbonation, nice head, nice looking beer, it's not it's looking more like an IPA in terms of the consistency of the beer rather than a stout. You know, if this was a 7.5% ABV stout, you might be a tad worried because it looks rather thin. But it's a black IPA. You want it to be a little bit thin. You want it to be refreshing. So, so far, so good. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, for sponsoring today's video. Beersofeurope.co.uk, we've got a fabulous range of beers from all over the world, New Zealand being one. Check out the link in the description box of the video for beersofeurope.co.uk. Let's get on with the beer review. Cheers, everybody. Aroma. Sour Black IPA. Yeah, definite sourness coming through. A little sprinkling of roasted malt. You get a little bit of an aspect of that roasted malt used in the beer. Then it's the hops. Orange, lemon, grapefruit, fleshy blood orange. It's got that old fashioned black IPA feel to it where you close your eyes you put the beer up to your nose, you get the aroma, and you think, wow, this is a golden beer. When you open your eyes, you realise it's black, and you go, wow. What kind of witchcraft is this? Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh! <laughs> wow, 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 one more time, stone the crows, stone the crows, what a terrific beer, I want to tear my hair out, um, and that's not in a bad way, that's not me tearing my hair out like I've just driven an Austin Montego around a Formula One track and the, and the back wheel's fallen off, I mean, I mean, wow, in the most wow, wow way, this is just terrific the sourness is just in, it's almost impossible it's crazy on the palate sour sweets sour sourness just comes bursting through on the palate then you have a little bit of that kind of hop sensation coming through and then it goes back to being sour and then you get a little bit of the a touch of the roasted malt eight wired brewing company i mentioned in a review just posted just recently that um, I'm a massive fan of this brewery. I've never had a bad beer from them. They've always been top class. And this is a top class beer. Carbonation roars, purrs, and just throws the beer on the inside of the mouth. That sourness is just absolutely tremendous. Like a black currant sourness rolling over your palate. Is a touch of licorice going on? Oh, wow yeah it's just tremendous and the mouthfeel in terms of that mouthfeel I told you a little bit earlier on about that that mouthfeel where it's ideal for a black IPA it's it's meant to be IPA consistency it's meant to be very drinkable it's not meant to be thick and gloopy and motor oil like like a stout like an imperial stout it's meant to be quite thin and drinkable and refreshing and it is 
thin, drinkable, refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. The sourness is just completely bonkers. It's calmed down a bit now. Your palate, what you find with sour beer is the more that you, you drink away the sour beer, the more your palate adjusts to that kind of huge flavour. And it just becomes, it just becomes a very tart beer with a, with a slightly thing going on in the background with the sourness. But it's not, you know, like the if you if you rewind back to my first taste, I was almost falling over with the, with the amount of sourness in the beer. But yeah, terrific stuff. There is some grapefruit, there's some orange peel, fleshy blood orange, there's some licorice. What a tremendous beer from Eight Wide Brewing Company. Who would have thought of that? A sour black IPA. That really, really works. It really works. Well done to Eight Wide Brewing Company for pulling off such a complex beer. <clears throat> Too much roasted malt wouldn't work. Not enough roasted malt. It doesn't look like a black IPA. Enough sourness, you know, that type of thing. The hops, not enough hops, won't make it as a black IPA. This does. This really does. A bit carbonated as well. There we go, that's better. Description. Like the universe itself, this brew is dark and tranquil in appearance, but once you delve in, its chaotic intensity really hits. It really does. An experimentation in how far we can push it uh, boldly goes going where few have gone before. And that's it. That's the beauty of being a craft brewer is thinking a million and one brewers have brewed IPA or New England IPAs or all of these other wonderful styles, Imperial Stouts, Stouts, Porters that we come to love and drink on a weekly basis. It's about pushing the boundaries. It's about it's about going as far as you possibly can. It's what I was trying to explain to you in the review earlier. Not enough of this, not enough of that, it's not gonna work, but this has worked beautifully well. So they put it really well here in the description. So they've gone as far as they can push it. Um, it's an adventure across the palate, sour hoppy multi bringing balance to the force. 7.5% ABV, uh, brewed and bottled by Eight Wide Brewing Company, 26. Uh, Glenmore Drive, Walkworth, New Zealand. Check them out. Check them out. Let's rate it. Eight Wired Cosmic Chaos Sour Black IPA. For me, it's been a real treat. It's been an absolute treat to, to look at, to smell, to drink. I've really enjoyed this beer review. There's some beer reviews where you're like, oh my God, I really want this to end. How do I fill the beer review with another two minutes of me talking complete rubbish about this really boring beer. Not all the time, not all the time, but there are times where you're like, oh my God, how can this not be a two minute beer review? I just want to turn the camera off. This, I feel I could talk about this beer for the next 10 minutes. I won't though, I'll bore you to tears. What I will do is rate it and say, see you in the next one. Great drinkability, great mouthfeel, great everything really. What a really tasty beer. I'm going to give this a Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer. Wait, 10 out of 10, I've changed my mind. How they really executed this so well that I'm thinking to myself, as I'm giving a 9, why am I giving a 9? They've executed it absolutely perfectly well changed my mind 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 for me little craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers